Motion graphics are a powerful way to capture your audience's attention and effectively retain your viewer much longer than you would if you'd used a still graphic. Luckily, in this day and age, turning a still graphic into a moving one can be as easy as a click of a button. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make motion graphics for your business. Welcome back to Life Marketing a digital marketing agency dedicated to helping small businesses grow. And in this channel, we make videos to help with just that. Before we get started, be sure you're subscribed to our channel. Don't forget to hit that notification bell icon to get notified as we upload more of our business growing videos. Our eyes are naturally attracted to movement, which makes video graphics a surefire way of effectively communicating your business's offers. With more than 60% of viewers watching videos to the end, you're able to place more information in a visually pleasing and easy to consume format. If you've been watching our channel for a while, you already know our go-to graphic design tool is Canva because it's beginner friendly, but at the same time gives you all the tools you need to create professional looking graphics. And of course, in this video, we're going to show you how to use Canva for motion graphics. Whether you're making a standard social media post for organic following, an ad for sales or a Facebook story, or maybe even a TikTok video, you can easily create video compositions with Canva. Just type in the type of video you want to make. Let's say we want to make an Instagram reel. Simply click on the create a design button, type in reel and click on the top suggestion size Canva shows you. Once Canva has opened a new design page for you, you can go ahead and start designing. Now, if we were making a still graphic, you would be limited to adding your brand logo, a headline, a still image, and elements. But since we're making motion graphics, we can add animating elements and videos into the mix. Before we continue, if you want to have professionals handle all aspects of your business's digital marketing for you, including your business ads and social media graphics, click the link in the description to get your free proposal today. Now, for today's guide, we're using our mock coffee beans brand, Coffee Cat. Let's say we're making an informative reel to promote the benefits of drinking coffee regularly. If this were a still graphic, we'd most likely need to cram a bunch of info into a single page. But we can now take advantage of the video format and turn our motion graphic into a multiple scene video. Let's do three scenes. The first scene will be a text headline of what the reel will be about. Second scene will contain the informative part and the third and last scene will feature a call to action button to buy our product. It's important to note that you do want to have your visual branding guide ready for referencing as you make your motion graphic. Starting with the first scene, which is represented by this box in the timeline down over here. We can start with any of Canva's available templates to start with, but let's say we want to make this scene from scratch. We just need a headline for the scene so it doesn't have to be too complicated. I think a translucent video playing in the background would also be nice. To do this, let's set our background to black or white if you want dark colored text and elements above it. Then to add a video in the background, simply go to Canvas video tab here on the left and search for the keywords of what you want in your design. Once you find a video you like, drag it into the design space like so. To add a transparency of the video, click on this box here on the upper right side and set the transparency percentage to an amount that would leave your video still visible, but will also let you read a text above it. I think this is good. Then we'll drag our logo file onto the design space which is a shortcut for uploading image files. Now let's position it to where it's visible, but won't overpower the main headline, which is the benefits of drinking coffee regularly, which to add, we'll click on the text tab over here on the left, click on add a heading and type the said headline in. We can then change the fonts by double clicking and searching for specific font names here on the search bar. Once we've selected a font that's in our branding guidelines, we can edit the scene duration by clicking on the number here on our scenes box, which represents the seconds it will appear on screen and setting the time to how long we want it to be. For the first scene, we want to give enough time for the viewer to read our headline. So let's set the scene to three to four seconds, which I think should be enough. Lastly, we want to add transition animation for our scene. So let's click on the animate button here and hover over animation options to preview till we find one we like to apply simply click on the animation preset. Now let's say you just made a still graphic in Canva. This preset feature will basically turn any static design you put together into a motion graphic with a simple click of a button. Just find a preset you like, save as MP4 or GIF, and voila, you have a motion graphic. For this video graphic, let's go with fade. Now for consistency, it's a good idea to stick to one transition style throughout your video. So we'll be using the same fade animation for the remaining scenes as well. And so we're done with our first scene and can now proceed to the next one. 
To add a new scene into your video graphic, click on the plus sign here beside our first scenes box. For this scene, let's say we want to start with a pre-designed template. Since we've decided that our second scene will contain the informative part, aka the infographic, let's look for an appropriate starting template. Let's say we want to present our info in list format. So we're going to want to start with a list type template. Type in list in the template search box here on the left side of our scene and find a template we like. Let's say we like this one. So let's go ahead and click on it. Of course, we'll need to edit it to fit our branding. Of course, for any design you do for your business, be sure you have your visual branding guide open so you're not straying from your branding. Let's start customizing by deleting all decorative elements because we want to swap these out with elements that fit our branding better. To delete items in your design, simply click on them and hit delete. Next, we want to edit the template by changing its colors. I think I want an orange background for this one and then alternating brand colors on the list background boxes. I can do that by clicking on them, clicking on the color box here, and then changing the colors to our branding colors with the help of our branding guide. Now, if you don't have a branding guide, we have a previous video on how to make one for your business, so check that out if you haven't already. Next up, let's change the text by double clicking and adding the correct wording. Then we can change the font similar to how we did in the previous scene. Now let's change the icons here on the right to more fitting icons from the elements tab, which is the tab for all illustrations that you can accompany your graphics with. Remember that in Canva, the search box is your best friend. Type in keywords for what you're looking for. And once you find icons that you like, go ahead and click on them to add to your design. A quick note on selecting illustrations in the elements tab for graphics. Be sure you're picking ones in the same or very similar visual style. Visual consistency and uniformity is essential for making any brand graphic look professional and well put together. Next, let's move on to decorative elements for our second scene. Let's add relative keywords into the element search box and add them to our graphic. Now, because our graphic is going to be in video format, we can also search for animated illustrations to add to our design. So let's say for aesthetics, I wanted to add cute sparkles into the scene. Type in sparkle in the search box, but before hitting enter, Click on the settings icon here on the right side of the search box and check the animated box. Now click on apply filters and hit enter on your search box. You'll then be shown animated options for decorative elements to select from. Once you find one you'd like, click on it and position it in your design. Now let's make sure fade animation is selected and now our second scene is done. The third scene is going to be fairly simple. We just want to feature our own products with a call to action. Let's say we want to use the same background as the first scene. So really, all we need to do is duplicate it and delete the layers above it. To do this, select the first scene, right click, then click on duplicate and drag the duplicate to the end of your timeline, like so. Now delete all elements, leaving only the background. Then let's drag and drop our product images into the canvas. They will then show up on the left side of your screen here. You can then click on them to add to your scene. Once they're in a position we like, we can now add our call to action, which in this case is order or purchase now. Now your CTA can simply be text on a shape background like so, or you can search for your specific CTA on the elements tab, still with the animated option on, so Canva can then show you if it has animated CTAs with the same wording you need. This one looks very cute and visually fits our branding, so let's go ahead and add that to our design. Now, since we've duplicated the scene from our first scene, we've also copied the preset transition animation so we don't have to edit the animation anymore. Lastly, let's find music to go with our video. Go to the audio tab and search and listen to audio till you find one you like. To apply to all scenes, make sure you have your first scene selected and click on the audio you want to use. And we're done. We've just made motion graphics without leaving Canva. We have officially entered a new age of visual marketing where we have more options for creating graphics and with Canva offering easy to use motion graphic tools, you're well on your way to creating a wider variety of graphics for your business. And that's it for today's video. Do you have any questions about motion graphics? Let us know in the comments down below. Also be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips and tricks to grow your business. Once again, this is Jelly from Life Marketing and I'll catch you in the next one.